and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are quickly introducing our brand new perfectly plaid remix paper. I love this paper so much. We have it both in 12 by 12 and in a 6 by 6 pad and we have cute mini notebooks too. That 12 by 12 paper comes in a collection pack and 12 sheets individually and the 6 by 6 pad is so cute and tiny. So here is a look at all of the papers in this collection. And yes, this is a remixed collection, which means that we've taken an old favorite collection and kind of modernized it in our six paper style. So right here we have the Kristen remix, which has the diagonal on the front and then the straight plaid on the back. We have the Ivy remix, once again with the same patterns. These papers were all named after Lawn Fawn employees, either current or former. Right here we have the Nadia paper. And there you can see it's got the straight plaid on the back and I love the cute little strips of hearts at the bottom. Here we have the Jessica Remix paper. I love this one, it's so cute. I, I just love this one for Easter so much. Then next up we have the Nancy paper and this makes the best backgrounds. I love that it's just this kind of blue tone on tone with a little bit of white, so pretty and fun. And then on the back you can see the straight plaid version. And then our last one is the Lynette remix. And this paper is so cute and it totally reminds me of Lynette. And you can see on the back here, once again, we've got the straight paper. Now you'll see here that in our collection kits, we include two of each paper. So you get 12 total sheets. And that's great because that means you don't have to hoard papers, right? You get two of each and it's a great way to try out the collection. Now, if there's a paper that you just love so much, or maybe you're making invitations, so you need a lot of one style, we also have these papers in 12 packs. So that means in the pack of 12, we just have 12 of one design. So here is an example where we have 12 of the Kristen Remix all wrapped up together. So that's perfect for invitations and mass producing cards. Now here is a look at all of the plaids together and how pretty and happy are they? They just make me smile. I just love these guys so much and I am so glad that they are back. Next up, we have the six by six pad. In the six by six pad, we've taken the same plaid papers, but we've reduced them by about 50%. So it's a smaller print, which is really great for smaller projects and cards. And I just love seeing these guys all lined up. I mean, how pretty, oh, the Jessica paper, we've got the Nancy paper, and then last but not least, the Lynette paper. In the six by six pads, you get three of each sheet. So there are 36 sheets total, which I love once again, so you don't have to hoard, right? You get three of each of them. Um, and they're just so cute fun. I just love these little prints. And then here I wanted to show you a comparison between the 12 by 12 paper and the 6 by 6. And honestly, I use both on cards and both on projects. It just kind of depends on the look I'm going for and I love having both options. Now we've also created cute little mini notebooks in the style of these papers. So here you can see in our mini notebooks, they come in packs of two so that you can keep one for yourself and share one with a friend. It's a really great way to do a random act of kindness. And these little notebooks are so adorable and sweet. They have fun little prints on the inside and then the beautiful plaids on the outside. I love throwing these in my purse for keeping notes or lists of things that I need to get or buy. I've been using them recently to list out all of the first foods that my son Miles has been trying. So I love having them all around the house. They're so cute. They're really fun to decorate and personalize as well. I love die cutting letters out and putting someone's name on them. It's a really, really fun kind of personalized gift to give somebody. So next up, we're gonna take a look at our brand new textured dot cardstock. We have five different packs of this cardstock and in each of these packs, they each have 10 sheets. So they have two of each color. So let's go ahead and check out all of the sheets. First up, we are taking a look at the tropical pack, which might be my favorite. And you'll see here that you get two of each color. So there's 10 sheets total in this really fun, bright tropical color palette. Here is a look at the paper up close. So it has this beautiful textured embossed dot details. It's kind of like a little bit of a slightly raised polka dot. And the way that I love to use this paper is as a colored cardstock with a little extra something, which when I just need a little extra pizzazz for my card base, this is the perfect cardstock for that. And the colors are also just so pretty. I just love using these. So next up, we're going to look at the Brights pack. And so once again, you're gonna have two of each of the colors, and these are some really nice kind of bold, bright colors. I mean, look how fun that is. I love that purple, and that green is perfect for grass. Can you imagine grass die cut with that cute little polka dot on it? I just love it. 
Next up is our neutrals pack, and these are such great base colors. So we of course have a black and a white, and then a gray and a couple of shades of brown. And so these are perfect when you need those base colors. Could you imagine that that pop-up desk we have die cut out of the polka dot cardstock? Oh my gosh, so pretty and so fun. It's also really fun to do some ink blending on the white paper because then you can go ahead and see that polka dot texture through it with the ink blending on top, so pretty. Next up, we have our gemstone pack, and these bold colors always remind me of the holidays. This is the pack I'm gonna take out for all of my holiday cards, that's for sure. We've got the beautiful red, green, and that awesome blue. Oh gosh, I just love these so much. I just adore that purple too. Oh my gosh, it's just so bold and gorgeous. This is our pastels pack, and this pack is perfect for spring. When I see all of these colors laid out, it just reminds me of a bunch of Easter eggs. I mean, how gorgeous and beautiful are these? I'd love to even use some of our Easter egg dies and die cut these beautiful papers. And then here is a look at the entire rainbow that we have in the textured dot cardstock. So, oh my gosh, I just love looking at this rainbow. It's so pretty and so fun. And you see, if you get all of the packs, you really get this full rainbow of this beautiful textured cardstock. Now, next up, we're going to be showing you our new metallic cardstock in Holographic 2.0. This is our second pack of Holographic cardstock, and look how cool these patterns are. So, oh my gosh, it's like kind of, this one's kind of the psychedelic, crazy looking one. I just love it. They're so fun to die cut. They look especially cool when cut with some of our more delicate dies, like our line borders and word dies. They look amazing. I also love cutting the brand new laptop in the pop-up desk die out of this. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. And so here is a look at all the patterns all together, and they're so fun and different. And just depending on what look you're going for your, for your cardstock, they look absolutely amazing. And I wanted to show you the comparison for the original holographic cardstock pack. So between these packs, you end up having 10 different styles of holographic holographic cardstock. So these are the ones from the original holographic pack, which you can see are just so much fun. And they're all completely different designs. And just depending on how you want to use them, maybe cut a strip for your cardstock die, cut a cool word border or the laptop, you can use the different designs and they look really, really fun and just add this major sparkle to cards. And next, I wanted to show you a couple of projects by our design team. And first up, we have this gorgeous card by Lynette where she's combined the textured dot cardstock with the new holographic 2.0 cardstock. And how beautiful do those look die cut with those scripty letters. And then here you can see a pop-up desk card that has the laptop cut out of the holographic mixed and matched with our beautiful perfectly plaid remix paper. This card by Grace is so cute and sweet, and look how fun that hot air balloon looks cut out of our new Nadia paper in the Perfectly Plaid Remix. And then this layout by Melissa, wow. She's combined the Perfectly Plaid Remix with the Texture Dot cardstock, and they are a perfect match together, and they really highlight those gorgeous photos. Tammy has combined a bunch of stamp sets, really cool stenciling, and our Perfectly Plaid Remix paper to create a super cute slimline design. And then here, Leticia used one of my favorite dies, our tote bag die, to die cut some of this Perfectly Plaid Remix paper, and she added one of our brand new messages on there to create a cute and quick little gift. Here, Audrey shows us how beautiful ink blending looks on that textured dot cardstock. How beautiful is that with that butterfly? Wow, I just love it. And then here, Elise just blew me away with these cards. She die cut letters out of the textured dot cardstock. And look what extra beautifulness it just gives to those letters. I just love it. I don't know that extra beautifulness is a word, but it is when you look at this card, because how gorgeous is that? I can't wait to make one just like it. And here, Yainea combines our Perfectly Plaid Remix with the new Texture Dot. Looks absolutely gorgeous together. Look at the paper piecing she even did on the lamp. So fun and so sweet. I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this brand new pattern paper, cardstock, and holographic cardstock. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.